Hello Alex, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Maybe you can introduce yourself to the people that don't know you? Sure. So hello everyone, my name is Alex Humla. I am from Germany and I currently work as a track artist for Sector 3 Studios. And I also have been working for Simbin Studios as well. Are you working on uh, complete tracks? Yeah, actually I work on all the aspects of creating a track, like starting from collecting reference, I've done that as well. Usually it's uh, Jay's job, but uh, right now we have been working on some tracks that are near my area, so I went there to gather reference. And then started laying down the layout and elevations, and then basically arranged all the terrain, and uh, then we had... Uh, I had a, a colleague of mine working on the assets and the buildings, and those I'm going to implement and then work on the uh, rest of the terrain, basically setting vegetation and audience and everything. So basically from A to Z, working on the tracks. Right. And wh what was the last track you worked on? In the last couple of weeks, I was working on Saxon Ring Circuit for the upcoming ADSC GSD Masters packet. It's a track I am very familiar with since I live quite near. And I also have been uh, updating Portimao Circuit because uh, it has become a free track lately. So we thought we we're gonna, you know, lift it to our current standards in terms of shaders and textures. So that one got a little overhaul as well. And uh, how does the process of creating a track look like? So well, uh, the first step is always research, obviously. So we gather as much information about the track as we can, uh, which means we usually go there for a track walk which means we have the track for ourselves for at least a day. Uh, we take pictures and video of the complete track and all the surroundings and everything we can basically get in front of the, front of the camera. And in the case of Saxon Ring, I actually did a couple of laps uh, on the actual circuit uh, myself with my Mazda MX-5. I did a, a basic training on it so to get really into the group of that track. So that's a, that's a real plus if we can drive it as well, of course. And uh, additionally to photos and videos, we try to get CAD data, which uh, will help in getting the precision up to, I don't know, a couple of millimeters, a couple of centimeters, which really helps there to create uh, the layouts and all this stuff. And then we start by putting down the rough layout, refining the flow of the corners, adding elevation as well as camber to it. And then, uh, uh, it's going for first in-game driving tests, uh, checking if the layout is alright, if it feels okay, if it looks okay. And then we start uh, by adding curbs and near terrain, the walls, fences, arm code, and then basically uh, the far terrain. And then somebody will work on the assets and the buildings that are going to be implemented in the track. So. Everything else will be just putting in vegetation and general tweaks and polishing it to uh, yeah, the standard that we have right now. So was there anything special about the Saxon Ring creation uh, for uh, racing racing? Well, not like special about the creation, but special uh, being a special track for me because this is where I got infected with the motorsport virus. It was in 97 when I first visited the track with my dad. And we were watching a, a touring car series, the ST, STV Cup. And yeah, that was basically the first time I went to a track and saw real race cars and was super excited about it. And then just followed up on, you know, watching touring car races in Formula One and TV. And uh, eventually went back to Saxon Ring every year to see the races. And yeah, since the track is quite near, uh, I also also got to drive it with my own private car a couple of times doing track days and instructed track days and stuff. And the course itself is, is pretty interesting. It has quite a quite a long history actually. It was built in the 60s, the Vamadron. It's even available in Grand Prix Legends to drive the old circuit. The old circuit was a bit longer than it is today. It used to cross through three villages actually, so it was more than 10-15 kilometers. I think. And then it was rebuilt in the 90s to suit modern standard Grand Prix circuits. But it still has a very nice layout of corners and really nice elevation to it. It goes up and down. It's a little roller coaster ride. And uh, I've uh, spoken to many race car drivers that actually raced there. And 
every one of them just loves the circuit and wishes he could drive it more because it's right now there's only the GT Master Series and of course the Moto GP. And it would be cool to have more touring car series on there like the WTCC or other high class events. So I'm very proud that we will be the first car racing game to officially feature the track. So that's cool. All right, so you pretty much done with sex handling and right now it's just bug fixing during this phase and um, after this what will you be working on next? Next up on my desk actually while we are waiting for a certain uh, data package for a longer German track uh, I'm gonna be working on Silverstone for that we have cat data where, which is gonna make it really realistic so we can have a uh, pretty nice racing experience there because Silverstone is a really nice and versatile uh, world famous venue that is coming to a race room and I uh, just can't wait to get started on it and you know get to get to finish it and then race it and the game finally okay well uh, thanks for your time and we hope to see Silverstone and that longer German track very soon you're welcome